Hey yo, you know what time it is? It's your boy. I'm always coming at you once again. Hey, work, y'all. About to get on break. I just want to share a little testimony, man. You know what? It's a day. My testimony is about, bruh, high school. You know, I just want to say, man. You know, to start off, first I want to say thank the Lord for having a steady job. Hillcrest High School, y'all. Hillcrest High School is where I graduated from. I had a little bit. You know, I was thinking in the last one, I was like, bruh, I don't want to talk about all the things I did. Because honestly, it almost seems like it's boasting sometimes. But, you know what? The thing is, though, I decided to, I decided to give it a try because... The reason why I want to give it a try, because I, I mean I don't want to boast in what I did wrong, and I have to admit that sometimes people get to the point where it seems like they almost boast about what they're doing wrong. So what I want to do is uh, talk about, testify, testify about it, and and I, and I think at the same time, testify don't always necessarily mean you gotta say all the things you done did. But I guess at the same time, it, it could have a little bit of relevance, though. But get down to the point, man. All right. Um, to be honest, bro, like, uh, I was I was kind of raised up, like, a little bit strict. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you like this. Uh, I never read the Bible when I was a kid, man. Like... That that's the that's the downside to I feel like my life the way it was not the way it is anymore but the way it was but uh so I have to I didn't really know a whole lot I just knew what my parents people told me those that were kind of my role models like that so like when it come to God and stuff like that. So, went ahead, man, and when I got out of um, high school, well, while I was in high school still, I, I didn't really, you know what I'm saying, follow the Lord. But this is the thing, when I was in high school, I struggled some. So what happened was, man, I ended up um, not really knowing a whole lot. Um, in high school, but so I'm trying to do my video, y'all. I, I don't want nobody trying to stop me. <laughs> I'm trying to do a video, but now, nah, real talk, man. I struggle, bro, and I struggle, man. And I just want to encourage somebody today, like, bro, it was just me, bro. It, I mean, it was just me, bro. Like, I when I was in high school, man, I just, bro, I, I literally just came to the Lord at like 17. I had one more year, I was a little behind in high school, so I had one more year. And I literally wanted to give up every day. Well, I had like one teacher that was really encouraging. Um, uh, Miss Prudent, man, my math teacher, man. Everybody else was like, they, they never really came out and said it, but it's almost like they were trying to tell me like, it's like they were giving me like a subtle like, man, you might as well go give up. <laughs> That's the type of vibe they gave me. But I never did, man. I never did. I kept on pushing. I knew my pastor at the time, uh, you know, when I was over uh, in Garland, he was encouraged me to keep on trying and keep on working. And I just started going to his church right before I graduated. Um, you know, and now I'm with the, you know, youth minister there. But, man, you know, I, I just, I had so much to learn about the Bible, man. It, it was crazy. Like, and, uh, like, you know, one thing about me. <laughs> I went from being, I can't say I was a coward, but at the at the same time, I wasn't cowardly, but I just didn't really know anything about the, as far as like um, whether violence was against the Lord. Cause growing up, it was like, you know, I was taught like, hey son, don't be doing no fighting in school. Don't be fighting your brothers and fight that. So as a child, you kind of think that, you kind of think that, man, you know, maybe I, maybe this is wrong. Uh, so I didn't really know. So I, I always shy away from stuff that I feel like it can call, get me killed or cause death. 
I remember one time my friends wanted to go fight these gang members, and I was like, man, I said, nah. <laughs> Uh um, but my older brother, he was he was quick to run up on somebody. So I don't know what that was. I guess maybe he just had a a better understanding of it than I did. Cause even though I wasn't living completely for God, I just always I, I remember the preachers talking about hell. That much I did remember. Cause I did get invited back to church from another youth minister when I was younger. He invited me back to church when I was uh like between my 13, 14, 15. So I went for a few years in between there to a Baptist church, and I, I, I know one thing, I heard my preacher talking about hell. <laughs> but you know what, though? Even though I'm, I'm kind of making fun of myself a little bit, um, I am glad because the Bible does say that there is a sin that leads to death. So I feel like even though I, I, I got mocked a little bit and because I wasn't all hard and stuff all the time, I just believe in I just believe in respecting people and trying to do that and to avoid situations. Um, as I got older, I started to understand that you can't avoid everything. Uh, some people have misunderstandings, and it's unavoidable. So you know, when I was a child, I did childish things, but as, as a man, as an adult now, I've adjusted my attitude. Um, but what I'm saying is though is that I came to the realization that. Um, uh, Man, I forgot what I was about to say now. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, so basically, man, just growing up and stuff and, oh yeah, a sin that does not lead to death. So maybe that was the Holy Spirit. And you know how when you're in school, everybody wants to push you. Like, if, you know, if you're not careful, they can push you to do a sin that leads to death. Because there were some sins that people were doing that could have led to death. And, and I felt like there were some things like, I mean, we, we like dudes rolling deep in the gang and dudes like, come on, let's, let's go get these dudes and want to go fight and want to go get guns and stuff and and want to go do certain licks and do certain drugs want to hit licks on trap houses man i mean i i i, I kind of hung out with some people like that you know that they, they were thinking about doing that and like the bible says there's a sin that leads to death it says not all sin leads to death but some does so i thank god today man and i just want to say even as a youngster man if you out there or if you older too you know, we all make mistakes, especially those who are not with walking with God. But the thing I want to say is, man, is that uh, be really careful of what you choose to do. Of course, not doing anything at all is the best best thing to do. But um, as a youngster, sometimes we make mistakes. But if you if you hear that voice inside of you, man, saying, "Man, watch out for that," you know, um, like like for instance, if you smoke a cigarette. If you abuse your, abuse and smoke a whole pack of cigarettes, that probably won't lead to death. But if you decide to get in a shootout with somebody over some ego, egotistic stuff, and you get shot, foolishly living, doing foolish stuff, trying to murder somebody, that that right there is more like a deathly sin. Or you try to go rob a uh, a drug house or something like that. You know what I mean? There is some people who really are that greedy. Like, they really want money that bad to where they will go and try to actually kick in the door of a drug house where they know people got guns. They know these dudes will murder you, they, and they still will try to do it. <laughs> and even though I wasn't in the church, I would live for the Lord. I still was like, I mean, this, this is the thing. I'm just hanging out, doing, smoking a little weed with the guy, you know what I mean? <sighs> See, there you go right there. See, that's why you got to have good friends. Because you could just be hanging out, just having fun with somebody. I mean, you know, you smoke a little weed, a little drink or something like that when I wasn't saved and all that. But these dudes get the... Some of these guys are out there, you know what I mean? And I had to learn that. I had to learn, like, man, not everybody's just cool, want to smoke a little blunt. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Want to have a little drink and just chill, you know? And I have to even admit, even now to today, I still don't know if marijuana should be illegal in, in its purest form. I still, I still don't believe in that. But anyways, uh, just for the law's sake, and like the Bible says, for the Lord's sake, obey the laws of the land, you know, uh, so there may be peace and all that. But, uh, man, so my main topic today, man, was just, if you're in school, man, hang in there. I, I went a little bit out, you know, into a deep field to try to just, like, just try to talk about a little bit and testify about the things that happened and how I overcame that. And, and I'll speak that even now to today. I speak it now to today. Like, hey, all the things that we want to do, the tempting thing, um, you, you might do a little something. 
you know what I'm saying? But if I was you, and I'm going to say this as a Christian man, if I was you, I would be careful that what I'm doing is certainly not something that leads to death and your sin. That's something you certainly don't want to do. Now, I ain't going to say go out there and sin, but if you're going to do something, you know it may not be the best thing. Just be careful is all I'm saying. Don't do something you know it's a possible likelihood that you might die in your sin. Like, that just don't make no sense. See what I'm saying? So I just wanted to, all right. Yeah, um, so yeah, man, I just want to share it with y'all today. That's real important because, you know, you got, you see people robbing these people uh, for money's sake. You know, then the Bible says, uh, the sloth shall die uh, of desire. So it's like you desire something so much, but you don't want to work for it. So you rather go risk your life, risk your life to go get it than to just work for it honestly and get what you got. Um, people die. They die and they sin. So I'm saying, so don't die in your sin, man. Like, just take it easy. Try to find out how God wants you to do whatever it is to do. Anyways, man, hey, I'm done for today, man. I'm a little burnt out. I got to go back to work. But I just want to share with y'all today, man. Uh, I'm going to share some little nuggets of wisdom, bro, just here and there. Because the Bible says that wisdom is a defense, man. So if wisdom is your defense, uh, then what's your offense? So um, keep up the wisdom, your defense and your knowledge and understanding which is your offense and man you can win this battle man in jesus name man